Ladies and gentlemen, konnichiwa, hello. I am now known as the common gentleman, otherwise known as the gentleman gaijin. Hello, hello, hello. Why common? Well, because I'm wearing a mask. And as you can see, I'm also wearing the belt for today's episode. Now, I'm going to try something a little bit different today. And you've probably noticed also, even though the light is blinding it, that is a Zeta one and Saber poster, which I'll you'll see changing as the months and years go on and you can see over here we have my shelf of common rider or my shelves of common rider will be you'll be able to see a little bit more of that today because i will actually be doing the henshins for the sets uh, i do apologize for the slight delay on this one i know i said last in the last video that i would be doing one very quickly but i got the dates wrong massively for the Tri Cerberus Wonder Live book, which I apologize for. It's very difficult to sort of different sources tell different things, and we're sort of working with that. Before we continue, uh, to the 90 plus people that have currently watched my previous Henshin video, my Kamen Rider review of the Onjuken Suzune, thank you very much. Seriously, I am blown away by that. I, first three videos got like anywhere from 11 to 20 videos and for some reason the on Juken video just went let's have lots of views so thank you to whoever has been watching the videos thank you very much and thank you for the two likes that's four Kajin. that's two there we go <laughs> so as like i said today we'll be doing the henshin for the tricerbus Set that's not the correct way around, that is the correct way around. Going from uh, third slot to first slot, which is kind of cool. Also, hopefully, I've done it, and you've probably seen a thumbnail for this video. Holy wow! And we'll probably do some sort of transition to the Henshin area, which is what we'll be doing from now on. Uh, some other things, there is a, another Sabre driver coming out very soon. It might be Premium Bandai. They've just released uh, footage, well, footage, photos of the movie-specific rider, who is going to be the bad guy, who is, the actor that played him, is playing him, also played, uh, I believe, Alpha, in the Kamen Rider Amazons remake that they did on Amazon Prime, which is really good, worth watching. It's dark, it's bloody, it's really, really good. And it's sort of like, what would happen if Kamen Rider was aired, you know, later in the day instead of at nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, in terms of this week's episode, this week's episode has, does feature all three main riders doing their main full set henshins. I have not seen it yet. By the time this goes out, I will have. So I'm kind of looking forward to the reveals that possibly will entail. Kind of cool. So let's start by having a look at Tricerbus. Now, I shouldn't bring in... Uh, needle hedgehog here because it's a good, brilliant example for doing this now i'm putting force into this i'm putting lots of force into this you know i'm trying to open the book open the book open the book done okay the tricerberus super easy maybe it's just the back the one i've got i don't know i probably would have to buy another one to find out but it pops open very easily so that's a thing we bring it closer we can have a look at the design on the front here we've got a very bright yellow and we've got the three-headed dog of hell on the back again speaker scanner batteries all that fun stuff so let's open nice and easy as you can see here again we have the three-headed uh, three-headed dog the chains a thing in the back there i don't know what that is but Let's first off press the button to hear the name. Yeah, Keroveros is the the 
the correct pronunciation apparently. I've always called it uh, Cerberus, like Cerberus sort of thing, and that's kind of the thing. So let's open and let's hear this, the story. Very cool. So let's move over here and do the henshin, shall we? So let's go. And we're back, folks. Hello. Welcome to the Carbon Rider shelf of stuff. <laughs> it's a very quick look. Here we have my Pro Guys key collection. You're probably thinking, but there's only three or four or five if we count them. There are multiple ones under the behind it's kind of all stacked i've got all the legends more or less and all the dx progress keys here we can see some zero one items not zero one zero items begins with z and kind of is the same and then here we've got weapons and miscellaneous and magic cards here we have some more stuff like Buster's weapon, Kenzan's weapon, Trans steam gun, uh, rabbit tank sparkling. Behind here we can see we've got full bottles and stuff like that. So, kind of cool. So, we've already, we're already set. Let's turn on. This uh, Espada's sound is set. So we need first, as you can see, fancy belt, fancy coat. I was wearing in the previous part of the video. So we start with Lampuno Arangina. So, Arangina, first uh, end slot, like so. Let's get the hinge in first. on me just yet I am using a belt extension for it you can buy a belt extension from a premium Bandai store or if you get a certain belts they'll actually come with without the attachment parts which are these bits you'll just, you'll just get this part so I'm actually using one of them on the back to try and work right you can actually see it here look dangly so that's the main form Next, Needle Hedgehog. I'm not actually sure. And now final form. Well, I say final form, the final set form. So one more time. That one is Golden Alangina. That's the name of his complete form. So, first, let's do the set attack, which is pulling the trigger 
leaving it in the belt itself and pulling the trigger one more time. So, it's not still cotton. And let's do the second attack, which is the same as before. Pull the trigger, then remove the sword. Alangina is really cool, has a really cool jingle, and that goes the same for all three forms. So, I'm going to take a pause, I'm going to change around to the next one, and we'll go from there. I'm going to set it to all three so we don't spend too much time sort of going through the henchins, I suppose. So, bear with me one moment. Okay, uh, let's continue. I know that was literally like a bizarre jump. There was a like jump to a thing, but let's sort of go. This is going to be the, uh, I don't even know his name. It's like Fantastic Lion or something like that. So, Lion Sinking, Peter P Fantasista, and Tinkwino Pegasus. Hinchy. It was fantastic by him. It's very cool. And lastly, let's go for Saber's Fall. So, let's close them. Let's go. Okay, so, let's continue. Try to drop them. <laughs> So, Brave Dragon, set, Storm Eagle, set, Saiyujin, set, and Hinshin. Crimson Dragon. Keep hitting the, the sign, the post next to me because I've got the lanky arms. So, folks, that is all three. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you like the sort of new style of doing it where we actually do the henchins away from the table so you can actually see what belt, like the belt fitting. Obviously, it's a little bit slack at the moment because I haven't tightened it enough, but that's it. I, I will be doing some other henchins and stuff like that, looking at other Wonder Eyes books. I will be getting one of the other legend forms as well, but that's mainly for the uh, holder. I will also get a second belt type thing very soon. So thank you very much for watching, folks, and I will see you guys next time. Till then, take care and sayonara.